Good evening from Xfinity Center, the Maryland Terrapin 74, Fairfield Stags 55. It took a while as usual for Maryland to get going, but once they did, just wasn't a contest. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, and Cordell Woodland. Welcome to your first basketball postgame show. Glad to be here. Got to show up on a winning night. Yep. All right, Bruce, what do you have? Ricky Lindell. Got to call it the way it is. He was fantastic, and the Terps kind of, like, dragged. This game seemed like it took two days, didn't it, or was it me? I think the second half was a lot slower than the first half. Well, you're talking about Lindell was 6-for-6 six six from the field, hit a foul shot, had a couple assists, was uh, really balling on the boards. Well, Career yeah. high, 13 points. Right, 13 points from a guy last year who had trouble scoring. So uh, ups for Ricky Lindo, big factor in the night's win. You know, you play these teams, and there's very few people here, maybe five, 6,000. There's no energy in the house. I, I, I just think they were flat the whole game. Well, I don't know. That first half, Cordell had three highlight reel dunks. Uh, some high flying action there. Yeah, and it, most of, pretty much all of them were started by defense. They led, uh, started from steals, leading to fast break dunks. Uh, Maryland, like you said, the energy wasn't really in the stands, but it seemed like they 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 tend to bring it on a lot of their highlight plays. And like I said, most of them started on defense. And speaking of energy, I, uh, the guy that stood out to me tonight was Eric Ayala. It seemed like every time the offense got a little stale, he'd hit a three, or in the second half, he started attacking the basket a lot more aggressively. So he brought a lot of energy to the offense that was missing a little bit in the first half. Look, Fairfield did their best. Uh, they were hot from three. Yeah. They kept playing, and there was a couple minutes there in the beginning of the second half when they had the ball, they were only down by eight. Yeah. And you said, boy, one more three, and this is going to get interesting, and it just didn't happen. Look, they played probably about as good as they can play, all right, and still lost by 19. And Maryland did not play as good as they could play. They hit 10 or 11 threes. 25 was on fire. Uh, Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Jesus Cruz. Right. And then number two came in, his, came in the second half. He played well. But it's just a, a mismatch as far as depth and everything else. Uh, what do you think? I'll ask you, Wayne. What did you think of the like weird combinations Turgeon had tonight out there? Well, I liked it. I think it was cool to play everybody. I said before that this is this is when you're going to play your freshman. You got to see what combinations work because when you go down to Orlando and you, you got Temple, you got big games. You come back with Notre Dame, Illinois, and at Penn State, you're not going to play everybody. So you're sort of running out of time. You got one everyone. more game and then the season really starts. If George Mason is not so bad yeah. on Friday night, and uh, when we look at the schedule, said, you know, we don't really even have a Christmas game. Usually there's a game before Christmas. Everybody gets to sing Jingle Bells or whatever, and everybody dances around the court, and it's great. We don't even play again after that Illinois game. We don't have a home game to December 29th. So, so like, once again, stretch. we don't mention number 25. Cordell, it's the first time you saw him this year. Sticks is a beast out there. He really yeah. is. I mean, on both sides, uh, defensively, Fairfield was limited to strictly three-point shooting, and I, and I thought a lot of it was because they were scared to go down inside, at least in the first half. In the second half, they started to go down low a little bit more, but it didn't work. Sticks was clearly the bigger body. He, he dominated on the block defensively and on offense. I mean, he catches the ball anywhere near the block. It was an automatic basket. Rebounds were pretty much magnetized to his hands. They were beating the hell out of him, too, down low. Yeah, you know, we got a lot, of foul. a lot of fouls. What the heck was up with our foul shooting tonight? Yeah, the foul, foul shooting, shooting was a not more. so good. That's a little hit or miss. We could have put Don Marcus in to get more points. <laughs> Boy, we were just, we'll find somewhere for Don to fit into this. Sure. This is the Big big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back at Xfinity Center in a moment. The Jackler's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. 
Call Viner Forgates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Preview the show tomorrow. We'll talk. Maybe we'll talk about what else can we talk about? Well, considering this game, we well, can Nebraska. Watch this. Yeah, just get out. Well, it's, all right. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. We'll talk a little bit of press and why the press changes the game. All right. And then we'll okay. push the I'll show. I'll preview and then we'll the show go. and that's okay. it. All right. Three. And you're not doing it tomorrow, right? No. Three, two, one. Back at Xfinity Center, Maryland with the 19-point win over Fairfield. So you saw a little bit of where this team can go as you saw the press come into play. It certainly changed the way Fairfield had a look at the game. What's the press add? The press is, is it's to juice the team. It's to get them moving. But I tell you, a win like this, you know what it means? It means nothing. It really does. No, it, it means we didn't lose. Right, and that's, that's all it. it means. And everybody's struggling with these early teams. All right, everybody's struggling, and I think it's it's getting to the point where these games are going to shrink and shrink. Well, there's only six of them this year. It's a lot better than it's been. There used to be ten. Mm -hmm. Uh Tomorrow, Turp Talk. Well, before we get on to Turp Talk, we want to thank our sponsors, Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, Viner Forgates, also in Rockville, and, of course, our name sponsor, Rick Jacklitz. Woof, woof. Thank you, Bruce. And now on to the show the tomorrow. The big dog. The big dog. Big show tomorrow. We'll talk some hoops. We'll take a look, kind of preview the season coming up. We're not going to dwell on this game that much. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about... I don't know if you guys read it today in ESPN. This guy from Sacramento, did you hear about it? He scammed the team for $13 million. Got nine years, seven years in jail. It is some article. The sa uh, which, which Sacramento? He was Sacramento Kings. He is. He was like the uh, promotion director. What a story. Well, well, Unbelievable story. And were I we going to talk about that tomorrow? Uh, on Turf Talk. That's right. Third. And on Turf Talk. We got to talk a little bit about Lamar. I tell you that, Lamar's the guy. Well, you have Dennis Skulatsas on. And we'll spend plays. a lot of time talking about Dwayne Haskins, right? No. No. <laughs> no, not that much. Um, yeah. Lamar is the man. Yeah, the next Redskin news I'm looking for is that somebody else buys that team. Who's going to be the coach? I don't know. You take your guy, uh, what, Greg Roman? I'll tell you what, they'll be in line for him. Right or wrong? Definitely would love to have Greg Roman. I'd rather him go to Redskins than the Browns because uh, he is a sure. winner. Right. And before we uh, step aside here and head into the press conference, intern Mason, who's not really an intern anymore, will be back on Saturday on the field after the Nebraska game. And, boy, I'm sure he's got a lot pent up over this football season. So remember to check out the Big Dog Post Game Show after Nebraska. One last thing. That Nebraska game is a big game. And I'm not going to go into why, but it's a lot bigger than most people think. And we'll talk about that on Saturday, right, Cordell? Yes, sir. And we'll explain why, a little teaser. That is a big game around here. I, I agree. All right. All right, that'll do it. Maryland takes it over Fairfield. We will see you on the radio on 1300 CBS Sports Radio tomorrow at 5 p.m. for Coons Ford Presents Turp Talk. Good evening from College Park.